What do property managers charge and why? The first thing to consider is that direct labor is a property management company's biggest expense. If we cut cost, we have to cut labor to stay in business. That labor are the people who answer your tenant's inquiries, deal with the maintenance, and respond to your request as an owner. So, you want to make sure that you actually hire someone that has sufficient gross revenue to supply the service level you desire. So what is an average number or a percentage that a property management company would charge? Approximately 50% of the companies in the United States charge 10%. It's a number and a percentage. The number is a healthy number to keep them in business and to ensure that they have profits to reinvest back into training and better systems for you. The percentage ensures that everyone is rowing the boat in the same direction. If you make more money, they make more money, and that's a healthy relationship. So let's talk about flat fee competitors that are out there. Flat fee competitors typically charge a lower monthly rate. The question is, do you get the same quality of service? Well, how are they able to charge the same rate? They're able to cut labor because they have very few, if any, local property managers. One of the national competition that we have actually manages the properties from out of state. That's correct. No boots on the ground in Austin except for salespeople to sign you up. The property managers are located out of state, just like you. So, whether it's a mom and pop, or it's someone a little bit bigger, we highly recommend you select a percentage-based plan so that you can both be rowing the boat in the same direction. With that being said, Austin, Texas, pretty competitive, rents a little bit higher than average, eight to 10% as a real competitive rate. If you go somewhere like New York or San Francisco, 5% may be relative for that marketplace. So do your homework, find out what a good rate is for your area, and select somebody based on the level of service. What you don't want is to hire someone cheap to find out that they never return the tenant's inquiries, and now you owe tens of thousands in maintenance on your property because they just didn't respond.